All right, so we are going to look at how to add an item. First of all, we'll set up uh, some of the attributes for adding an item from preference. So we go to file, then preference, and company. Click on that. Uh, you have to be in the sysadmin account in order to do this. We go to inventory here on the left hand side and uh, if you want to add pictures you check that. That's that's going to check. That's going to allow you to add pictures. Uh, another thing that we need to do is um, we want to add a, a field for in our inventory our items for expiry date. So we go down we find inventory custom field 1 check that and um, we change this uh, title or label to expiry date and then we save so we go back to the home screen here we now go to our item list and um, we're going to add an item a new item Let's add aspirin 81mg. One a day. And uh, you can have you could set up your departments by going to inventory here and create the new departments. Um, I don't I don't have a department for over the counter here but let's just say at uh, combo we'll use that temporarily so in the description box you put in more detail aspirin 81 mg times or I'll just say 100 Tabs. size 8 to 1 mg if you want to add attribute whatever uh, let's say 1500 plus fat put in your tax there and then when you're setting up your item you could put in how much you have or later on you could do a purchase uh, voucher that is going to add to that here you scan the barcode in but we're going to leave that for now. Then you have a like vendor, whoever you're buying from, you can set that up. Reorder point, if you have inventory of say 15 bottles and you want to buy whenever you reach 7, you set that up. And here in expiry date, you put whatever is on the bottle. So let's say me. 20th 2020 and um, oh, let's 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 do a picture click on you click on that there to do a picture and uh, we're gonna go to picture here I have I have a picture already saved from the internet and it's going to then show up there and we're gonna save that Uh, it will then show in your list there it is um, if there's expiry date if you want to add that expiry date to your uh, items list on the on the columns here you right click on a, any part of the column you customize columns and then you go down and you look and you check expiry date so now it shows up expiry date there um, when you're doing a sale now and you call that item up whether by barcode or by the name of the item you can call it by name aspirin uh, because we did we didn't put in a quantity it's going to complain that we don't have but let's just say continue for now 
and it shows that item up there um, one a day it one milligram whatever and then you you cash that out however you want so that's it